Hey, hair cuttery blueberry. How you doing? I'm doing fine. What a terrible drive out to Toronto Mills. It was like, you know, terrible traffic the whole time. And like it was bumper to bumper and people like were up my arse the whole drive and like. And after that, all that, I was just wanting to go into Hallmark, but you stopped to give me the breeze. No, I didn't. I didn't stop to give you the breeze. Let's just go and eat Panera Bread, even though I don't even like that place. And it's just you know, like, you know, I just don't feel like dealing with it. We make fairly good sandwiches. Eh, they're all right. We're going back, uh, what you got there? Well, we got, we got uh, apple. And it's like everyone's out of school now because it's graduations, and so it's busy. People sit around and it's like I can hardly even see you're in a weird shadow right now. Hey MJ, what are you doing? Getting some soda pop at, you know, I thought you didn't drink soda. Remember why were you like, I don't drink soda. Well. You being rebellious or something? Yeah, I'm being contradicting. Oh. Jeez MJ, if you do it like that, you're going to give yourself a brain aneurysms. Don't do that, that's not good. I'm rebelling against having those too. Oh. You all right? You don't look so good. You're not gonna faint or something, are you? Never better. Oh, all right. Uh, mm -hmm. So much to take in. Oh. Look at all this traffic, MJ. I see. What is going on? I don't know. It's hugely busy today. I don't know. And the thing is, it's like a school day still. Most people are still in school unless they're all ditching like that. Yeah, I mean, like the seniors are out, but they're still the, the juniors, the sophomores, and the freshmen. I know. I guess they all just said what they say, MJ. They all just said, "Fook that." You know, MJ, why is it that we always come in the car and eat? Why don't we ever eat in the places and stuff? I mean, is there something wrong, or what's going on here? Well, you know we can't eat in front of people. What do you mean? Sit, people sitting around, looking at you. God knows why. You think we have problems about being around people? I guess you could say that. I mean, just, they're just looking over. Yeah, I hear people I saying blueberry and fatty, and I mean, it's like, you know. Well, I think, you know what I think the real reason is? What? steal our food. No, I don't think that's true, MJ. I think we're just anti-social. So can I see what you got in, in here? You must. I mean, are you going to show what you got? I think we got the same exact thing. Yeah, except I got mine without bacon bits. Oh, let's see what you got in here. Panera bread. The last time we ate Panera bread was, I remember we were at the job and like, remember it was a big snowstorm and we had to walk. It was like the only thing opened. Oh yeah, I forgot Remember that? that. And, then you, and then you had like that big thing of some kind of big roll or something you were walking around with or something? I remember the weirdest things. Turkey? Didn't expect it to look like that. Sandwich. I, we, we normally get this other type, but like, this guy, the guy who was in there was like, can I help you? Like, you know, did, he had this weird thing to him, like, it was just like... What I originally wanted was an everything bagel sandwich with ham and cheddar cheese in it with mustard and some pepper. That's what I originally wanted. You have to go to Einstein Bagels for that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Panera Bread does it like that. Bread. Oh, and these are some of my favorite chips in the whole world. Did you get soup? Yeah, it's in there. What kind of soup did you get? Chicken noodle. You didn't get French onion? No, I mean, I wanted chicken noodle. You didn't want to have, you know, all day? Well, French onion wouldn't give me that, but I'm not in the mood for French onion. Oh, all right. Cooked in 100% sunflower oil. Although your favorite chips are cooked in 100% lard. Lard chips. They're one of my favorites. What's going on here? What? Have you ever tried eating a rock? Let me see how you eat this bread. <laughs> That's the one thing about their bread. It's as hard as rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like that? I, I don't know. It's, it's just too delicious for your stomach. I know. Hey, MJ, you know, I feel so happy that we took a trip to Egypt, don't you? Yeah, it's a great place to see a movie. Thanks for giving me your bag of chips, too, by the way. Yeah, what, so you ate a, a, a sandwich, a soup, and two bags of chips, and two rolls? Yep. I ate the two rock rolls. You didn't want yours. Jeez. And... So I why is it, why is it I'm the fat one, and you're the skinny one, and you eat more than me, the fat one? That is a mystery. I, I, I wonder that all the time. I mean, and I'm, I mean, gotta give you some credit. You can really put it away. Me, I can really put it away. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, from Panera, the sandwich was okay. The, the soup was fairly good. My the favorite, sandwich had this weird thing on it, though. I know. My favorite thing from Panera is always the bag of chips you get. 
The sandwich had like those things that are in pickles. You know those balls in the pickles? Oh yeah. It was weird. It had like this strange taste to it. See? Egypt. You know, if you got what I suggested I originally wanted, I think you would have liked that. Remember how this used to be called Movie Co and now it's called Cinemark? Oh yeah. I hope there's not bad wind on this. That feels like a slight bit of wind today. Do some though. A little bit hot. I know. You and me weren't, aren't ones for heat. No. Although some things in the future may change that. Oh yeah. Who knows what though. We'll have to stay inside where there's air. I know. Look, the pyramids. Wow, that's so nice. Don't you, in space in here. don't you feel like we're going to run into, you know, Brandon Frazier? Oh yeah, running away with a, with a torch in his hand. Brendan Fraser always comes to this mall and he stands right there and he goes, I am Brendan Fraser. I am not wearing a hairpiece. That's what he says. Oh yeah, that's going to be the big shocker for the next one. I know. The next one, he's not wearing it. Hey, MJ, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Are you dancing? That's hip funny. to the hop, to the hip, to the bibba, dibba, hip, hip, hop, and the fun don't stop. Travel the world with my... I forgot MJ, but let's just like make another one. I smell sexual intercourse and candy. Ooh yeah. Come on, sing one with me. Mama just show me. Mama just show me. It's a dream. Hey MJ, what are you doing? Oh. Causing mischief and crime? Oh, alright. MJ, why are we filming in the bathroom? I don't know. You just pulled you just whipped it out. Ew. You just whipped it out and started filming me. Oh, well, go do your business. Camera. Come on in. Do your business, MJ. Come on, okay. do it. All right. Let's just hope no one else sees. Okay. Hey, MJ. Hey. One thing we forgot to tell people is what we were doing today, and we were actually seeing the movie starring Adrian Brody, Splice. Yes. Now walk a little bit this way because it's a little dark in that one spot. Well, it's you a little dark everywhere. You and your obsession with lighting. Well, if you stand under that light right there, that might help. What's that? Well, it gives you a weird shadow. Well, get closer again. Get them over here. That's close enough. I mean, Who cares? right there is okay, right? Exactly there. Right. Well, the movie, a lot of people are probably going to go under thinking it's like a movie about like this monster, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like killing. Species. Yeah, it's like killing kind of all kinds of people yeah. all over the place. It's and not that kind of thing at all. You can't blame them based off of the way they made the trailer look. I thought it was going to be like species. Yeah, like the alien gets like, the, you know, the clone. It's basically Adrian Brody and his girlfriend work at a cloning lab. Yeah. And they're supposed to be designed this clone, I mean, this thing for like the science or something. And like, but then they end up wanting to experience, you know, experiment with human genes. And they do on the side against the wishes of people. They say it's, it's forbidden to do human cloning. And they say, well, if it's not entirely human, then it's okay. So it's part human. And I'll admit, going into this, I was not excited to see this at all. I really did not want to see this. But I'm actually glad I did. It actually was really good. I really did like it a lot. I mean, overall, the only thing I would change at certain points, the CGI did not look good. Yeah, it, was a lot, it was like yeah. Avatar. At points it looked really good, and at other points it did not look good at all. It was a mix, though, because it was like... Well, some was practical, some was CGI that was good, yeah. but then some was like over CGI that wasn't that great. Like there's a but few shots that wasn't great, there, but there is some comedy to it too. Actually, I never would have expected. And I'll say Adrian Brody's brother, who the guy who plays Adrian Brody's brother in this, wasn't he like really creepy? Like he had this oh, yeah. like he looked like him, but he was like a, a freakier Adrian Brody or something. On, like we thought he was freakier than the spliced creature. I know, he just had this look to him, like he was like up to like skiing this fiendish things. He had, had this face and everything, like, I don't know. I guess but, he was supposed to be like that, I don't know. I don't know, maybe he, they put him in there to, to make the creature look more, more lovable. I don't know, but don't it know. really was cool. It was like them taking care of the thing, hiding him in like the barn, at the, the, the one girl's barn, like old family I barn. I really grew to like to love the thing. I, Oh, honestly, overall, I'd give it four out of five. And it was way better than Species, because Species was, I always thought was just alright. Yeah. I never I never loved that. I liked, yeah, this was better than Species. I know, it makes you wonder though, if there was human cloning, if things like this might happen. Yeah, I always wondered, except I don't know if it'd go to that extent, though. No. Being that dangerous. Now, I would recommend people do see this, though. It's yeah, definitely worth seeing. seeing it. it really actually is a good thing to watch. And, like, you know, it's not, um, like I said, though, it's not like a typical one of those horror movies where it's the creature attacking all kinds of people. It's a like, it's real story, you it's know what I mean? It's real really, build up. Like, it's not even really horror that much. It's more like, it's art, and there is some blood and stuff, but it's not really to the point where it's like, 
horrific. It's more just like it's, it's more sci-fi. It's more like just a violent sci-fi film. Yeah, but it is good though. It's it definitely is. worth watching. And the one girl was from I'm pretty sure the Dawn of the Dead remake. The main one. I think that was her. Yeah, was I'm pr pretty sure that's who that is. Right. It's definitely worth watching. And like those were the two only main people that anyone really knew in that. Everybody else was kind of like much. not anybody I recognized. Did yeah, you? I, I, I couldn't really spot anybody else in this. Yeah. So, um, it actually stated at two points that there actually was a person playing the creature. And it was, uh, most of the time it was practical, like a was woman, a but like they did like CG in the eyes, you know what I mean? Like stretch the eyes and stuff, yeah, I, I think. think. the person was wearing like a face piece at points, so I was, a face piece and I was like, wondering who, if that person was in anything else. Who knows? You couldn't really tell. I, I didn't recognize the names. At the end. I'd say at least four and a half out of five. Yeah, four about, I'd say four. Four, four. Yeah. It's definitely worth watching though, definitely. Yes. And, if, and I know a lot of other things started this week, like the Killers, and um, but I'm not that excited. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a huge Aston Kutcher fan. I mean, I don't know. And what else came out? Like, let's see. There's the Killers and Marma. You know, Marmaduke, aka Butt Duke, <laughs> about the big dog. I mean, you know. Why not, why not see a talking dog? This. I don't know exactly. Like, I don't know about that. The Killers, Marmaduke. I don't know. It stars Owen Wilson though. Stars. Well, his stars his voice. <laughs> I know, although there's better lighting here, too, but we didn't just do it right here. This always yeah. happens to us. I know, it's like, look at the way better lighting and way better yeah, look. I, and I gotta admit, though, I, I was interested to see that, you know, Ashton Kutcher and then the chick from Bride of Chucky, and then there's um, that one with Jonah Hill and... Uh, Cyrus? Oh, that's the, another one, Cyrus. No, gonna, yeah, get under the Greek. That, I mean, Which, I mean, we may see that. It could, so. I guess it could, some of it could be. It is, it is actually an unofficial sequel to Forgetting Sarah Marshall. So, I mean, that's cool. Oh. You know, MJ, have you seen that new show on TV, Mall Cops? No. You think if we keep filming in here, we'll run into a mall cop? And it'll be like, stop filming. Or something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, eventually. Yeah, it might happen. I mean, after a while, it might. I mean, if And look. That's a merry-go-round you could have in your own house and you could ride around on it. merry-go-round I've ever seen. Well, it could be your own private merry-go-round. You ride around that at night. There's three of them. There's one for me one for, and one for two other people. And listen to the band Ween, you know. Don't get too close to my fantasies while you ride around on that. Okay. And, be like, and people will be like, why are you riding around a merry-go-round? So who's going to ride that? There's three spots. There's one for me, there's one for you, and who's the third person be? Um, Zac Efron and Tom Cruise. <laughs> no, that's four. No, I don't... No, seriously, who would you like to ride on that merry ground with? Um... Denise Richards? No, um... Charlie Sheen? No. Um... Bobby Flay? Who? Geraldine Winners? Oh, yeah, our friend Geraldine Winners. I didn't know if you wanted me to mention her name or not. Yeah. Our very good friend, Geraldine Winners. Hey, MJ. You see that guy over there? On that thing? See him? He's riding around on that thing. You see him? You should go ride with him, MJ. There's definitely room for two. I don't want to ride on the giraffe. You don't want to ride on that? I want to ride on the elephant. Look, I mean, he's riding around on that all by himself. <laughs> he's waiting for you, MJ. Looks like he's having fun on his cell phone. Oh. On a cellular telephone. Cellular talk box. MJ, you want to go to the medieval times? There's a night up there. Do you want to go in there? The only thing is, I want to go somewhere where I actually have a choice of what I'm eating. You know, they like pick what you can get, what you can and can't eat. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I want what I want. I don't want what they make me have. So you don't want to be conquered by a knight? Heck no. That's not how it works. Oh, how's he it work? comes up to me, and I conquer him. With that place, they set it up that way. MJ, you were disgusting. Hey, MJ. What hey. are you doing? Well, we just ran into a friend. Who? Oh, Mr. Bill. Hey, everyone. Mr. Bill here. It's been quite some time. <laughs> Mr. Bill, do you want to play with? Do you want to play with Chauncey Phillips? I want to play with Chauncey Phillips. He's gonna be mean to me. Hey, Mr. Bill. Uh, oh God! Oh God! It's so steamy and hot and smelly. I'm melting. MJ. Um, it, it always ends in tragedy. MJ, how old are you again? MJ, what are you doing? You always have to know. Why are you doing that? How old am I? You know, it's comments like that that make me not want to do these videos anymore. MJ, look, it's your new family. Your brother and his son, and you live in this tent, and you eat mealworms. Right, MJ? Why are they mine? They're I don't know. People. They're your family. How are they anything like me? They're stubborn, and they have no expression. Like you? Wait up, MJ, I'm sorry. 
All right? Sorry I won't make any more jokes about, you know, how old you are, all right? You're not sorry. I am. MJ, do you forgive me? Do you forgive me? Um, for now. All right. You know, MJ, isn't there some, like, terrible hot heat today? Yeah, I know. It's like suffocating heat. It, it's like, yeah, it's like you're losing part of your life or something. And I have terrible allergies from it. I need to get new allergy medicines. Me, it's just intolerance, you know? I don't know. Really, I mean, the best possible way to describe it is I'm a Kryptonian in a field of kryptonite. There's really no other way to describe it. Whatever that means. Well, yeah, you would. Well, it's, does it mean something like it's really hot and sweaty out? Well, pretty much like I feel weak and I don't fully feel right, like myself. Mm-hmm. I know I'm, what you mean. Here's a better way to put it. Um, I'm a polar bear out of being taken to an African jungle. All right. That makes more sense. We went in the outdoor world. Like, weren't they giving you really weird looks in there? Yeah, both of us. What is their problem in there? I know. Like, they give us this weird look. Can we help you? And then, like, give us this really strange look. Hey, MJ, we're in a bathroom again. <laughs> How are we in a bathroom again? I don't know. Are we not finished? We're at Target. When you come in here, you sing the song of Target. You go, I am in Target. I am in the bathroom. I want to dry my nuts in the machine. Hey guys, sorry, it's it's super late and MJ already left. We totally forgot to do the ending to the vlog. And um, yeah, but what basically, you know, good night, but just to let you know, coming up right after this, when I go like this, it's gonna show clips from a vlog from when probably about a month ago when me and MJ went to New York to film for the movie Mr. Bricks. It's never been seen, so that's gonna be ha seen that right now. Hey MJ, hey. where are we right now? We are in the Metro subways or something. Yeah, but we're not in Baltimore anymore, are we? No, we're in New York. You know, New York, New York you know, City. New York City. The home My of family's in Baltimore and I'm in New York. This is the home of where Macaulay Culkin got lost. I, I, I apologize that I don't look like myself. I'm a squiggly mess. I'm not wearing the right outfit. I don't look like myself at all. But this is how I'm supposed to look for the film. And you haven't shaved or anything? Yeah, I haven't shaved in like, like a day. Sit in front of that mirror and sing. And do what? Sing, in, sing into that mirror. Sing what? I don't know. Sing Itchy Bubaba. Itchy Bubaba. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you're Itchy Bubaba? Gooey, 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 eggma. You know how it goes. You look over there, it's like scary, like, you know, cage. Are you scared down here, MJ? No, it looks like, this looks like kind of spot where they would have shot an 80s music video. This is where they filmed Palm, one, two, three, four, five, six. Down here. Oh, yeah. I know, and look at the ceiling. Ew. Hey, MJ, here we are in the tracks. Tracks? The tracks. Yeah. Subway, subway sandwich machine right now, right? Yeah, it's better than sitting squeezed in that bus for four hours. No, no. Don't fall down, MJ. I oh, hope we, we, we don't meet John Travolta in here. You know, Palin 1, 2, 3. What? You know, you know what I mean. Hey, hey, MJ, you're supposed to do it right. Now let's start again. Okay, go, MJ. Greetings from Tromaville. I'm not Lloyd Kaufman. I'm MJ Kelly. And where that's are we right all, now? That's all they told me to say. And where are we right now? Um, we're in New York City. In the Tromaville, Troma building. Yeah. Yes. I'm hungry. I know. Bad. And there's like all the props from like all the DVD introductions you see and the head of Joe Fleischinger, is that how you say his name? Yeah. And we can't show his sphincters down there. We don't want to offend with the sphincter, right MJ? Okay. Right. Yeah. MJ, we're in um... Um, well, Off -bra, mon chin. I, I'm not sure, and like, there's like things like, you know, a Chase Fitzels, you know, or like a Wonder Ball. Uh, basically, MJ, the only thing on this whole menu we really know what it is, is mashed potatoes. Well, we're going to need to eat more than that. Does this look about right? Off -bra, mon chin. 
Am I pronouncing that wrong? I think what we should do is we should just get, you know, a lot of orders of mashed potatoes. With, you know, some sphinxons. Well, I was hoping you get a sandwich or something. You, you, how about you get a potato with mashed, uh, a sandwich with mashed potatoes? I was hoping to get maybe some heading with some small schnuggle. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Neither do I. Hey MJ, we're at another subway station, aren't we? Yep. How do you like this one? Like are, on the other are you scared of um, the mimic? No. No? No. Oh, Alright. What about, um, you know, the Quobo Field? No, I love it to death. I'm not scared of it. What about the Wake Off? Oh,